Bye. The Voyager project is one of the signature enterprises of the 20th century. We launched in 77. We were only supposed to go to Jupiter and Saturn, and that was dictated by Congress. But the engineers at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory built it to make sure at least we could last through Neptune. All of the science that we had hoped to do, there were no other spacecraft that were going to be going there. The planets had to be lined up in just the right way. And that only occurs once every 176 years. Every day you're wondering, did we build a spacecraft well enough? Did we anticipate all the possible things that could go wrong? Voyager went to Jupiter and then Saturn. We're thinking everything's OK. And then something wasn't right. Uh, we do have a problem on board the Voyager 2 spacecraft. A frozen scan platform could be a fatal crippling event and make sure we understand where we're headed. And it's just, just jammed. Sort of like a, a car stuck in the snow. We try to go back and forth, back and forth. And finally, it was freed up. The spacecraft flew through that system like a bullseye. In 2012, it sent back word that it had reached the interstellar medium. Everything changed. Suddenly, this was a different journey we were on. Every second, it goes to another place where we have never been before. Sending out an emissary into the universe to be our eyes and our intelligence and report back home and tell us what you're seeing. Are we alone? I'd like to know the answer to that question. It put us at the very limit of human experience. If you'd like to leave a message to aliens, what would you like to say to them? Hello from the children of planet Earth. This is where we live, on a blue dot. It's the stuff of myth, except it really happened.